In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a tropical house lead using SynthMaster 1. Now there are two components to this sound, some noise running through a bandpass filter, and then a parallel layer containing a simple sine wave. First of all, I'm going to create this noise running through a bandpass filter. So I'll turn down the volume on oscillator one and up the volume on sub one. Make sure it's in sub mode and choose white noise. Perfect. Next, I want to run this through a band pass filter. So I'll turn on filter one and select band pass. Attenuating or filtering frequencies above and below the cutoff. Actually, let's pull down the input gain. Actually, I don't need that additional volume. Increase the resonance, giving a bit of a whistly quality. Noting very importantly, this key tracking is turned on. What that means is cutoff position, filter cutoff moves as I move up and down the keyboard. This makes the noise sound musical and like it's a whistle. Then set the amplitude envelope for this layer using amp envelope one. In this case, defining a plucky shape. Fantastic. Now for the second layer, I don't want to run this sine wave through that bandpass filter. So what I need to do is reconfigure the filter routing. The way I could do this is to configure it in split mode, thereby routing oscillator one and sub one through filter one and independently oscillator two and sub two through filter to, which I can leave turned off if I don't want to do any filtering. So I can select a sign. And define a similar but slightly longer plucky amplitude envelope using amp envelope two because this is oscillator two. And finally, all it needs is a reverb. Noting you can dial in that bandpass cutoff to taste. And there you have it, a tropical house lead. Thanks for watching.